guys and welcome back to the channel. So um, there is a problem with the latest contract that was sort of awarded to Rocket Lab. And uh, I did some research and I want to talk to you guys about it. Um, all I'm asking is the usual. Please make sure you subscribe, you hit the like. And if you even want, you can support the channel by becoming a member. Link is in the description box below. So uh, Rocket Lab was sort of kind of awarded more haste contracts. And I think that this really went under the radar. Um, I actually don't know. I, I, I know why it was overshadowed by the Mars sample return mission, which we didn't get, uh, but whatever. But th this is actually big news and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you why. So Kratos, uh, which is a uh, company that is um, a defense contractor and they have used um, like they got award, they, they got awarded a contract that is worth $1.45 billion and they want to use Rocket Lab as a subcontractor and Rocket Lab would be the only one in this program who provides launch capabilities for their hypersonic um, testing that they're doing for the federal government. Uh, so if you read the article more, uh, this is their investor relations, uh, Kratos or Kratos, I actually don't know how you say it, please kill me in the comments, is a listed NASDAQ uh, company. Uh, this contract is a five-year OTA, which I had to look up. I, of course, don't have it here. It Basically, an OTA contract means that it's not done through the usual government procurement channels and it's not subject to um the complicated procurement laws of the government and this is usually awarded when the government wants to spur innovation and wants to do things fast um and this was under the contract of the multi-service advanced capability hypersonic test bed mach tb 2.0 Th this is going to come in handy in a bit so just remember this mach tb 2.0 so this is like the second iteration of a previous mach tb uh, contract uh, the total value of this award if all options are exercised uh, over a five-year period is 1.45 billion uh, dollars so that's a big fat contract uh, that is about 300 uh, million per year but there's a big caveat which is that if all options are exercised now i wish they would give more uh, data on this uh, the reason why i'm going into this obviously is because i'm trying to guesstimate how many haste launches rocket lab sold uh, with this contract and they're not making it easy they're not making it easy but there is some clues so we're gonna we're gonna come back to this um so then you read what this contract is uh, for there's like comments by um you know officers of the of the company um so this contract was uh, th th they were the primary role um okay whatever sorry it's it's late in the evening so uh this contract was to include integrated subscale full scale and air launch services to address the need to affordably increase hypersonic flight test cadence so they want to increase the test cadence so what does the test cadence mean uh that means more launches uh, and, and obviously more tests. I think that they, there is a way that they can do ground tests also, but um, obviously the only way to test hypersonic, um, you know, ma machines or weapons or whatever they're testing is to launch them. Uh, and here are their partners. Uh, the Kratos stream includes Leidos, Rocket Lab, Coda Technologies, Corvid Technologies, Northwind, JRC, uh strato launch cfd research and yada 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 um so remember this company lados this is going to come in handy um i was researching how many haste contracts has rocket lab sold before and who were the customers and why were these customers buying so i found that uh, to this day before this contract rocket lab had seven haste missions sold and uh, when I did the research, look what I found. So this contract or this uh, article actually lists who the customers are. Um, so the first actual mission um, for the haste was 
for Ladas, which is a company that is named in, in this new thing, under the multi-launch service advanced capability hypersonic testbed mock TV program. And that's the same program, the version one of this current program, right? So Lados since has signed four more haste missions. So that means that in the version 1.0 of this program, uh, they ordered five haste uh, launches. Uh, and what we figured out, um, it's funny, I realized if some of you guys can check in the comments, I didn't find how big was the, the previous uh, mock TB program, because if you could figure out that that was a 1 billion program, um, I, might, I might actually check it out, sorry. You, you see that I'm shooting this on the go. Okay, guys, so as I said, they're not making life easy for us uh, investors that are trying to figure out data. So it looks like the first contract, uh, it was not publicly disclosed. It was also this OTA um, procurement, which means other transaction agreement, uh, which doesn't have to follow certain rules. So they did not disclose it because you understand if we would know that, okay, that program was a 500 million program and it resulted in five haste launches then we would know that the 1.5 billion, it would be 15 uh, haste launches. Um, anyways, so my guess is that Rocket Lab with this contract uh, has sold 10 to 15 launches because we know that they want to increase uh, the, the cadence. We know that this hypersonic weapon is, is quite a big focus uh, for the government, but, but it, it, it could be more because uh, if the contract is 1.5 billion, I would suspect that the rocket launch is, you know, kind of a big deal uh, in the program, meaning that I wouldn't be surprised if, um, let me put it this way, I would be surprised if the program was 1.5 billion and there was, let's say, five haste launches uh, that we know cost around 10, 10 million a pop. So 50 million would go to Rocket Lab and the rest of the money would go to the engineers and, you know, the test vehicles. Um, so I, I, I would think that, yeah, probably 10, 10 to 20 launches. Again, there's really not a lot of data to, to grab onto this. Uh, the next opportunity for us to clear this up is a rocket lab earnings call if they wish or the next time when we give an interview to uh, Peter Beck and Adam Spice and we might uh, see a big change in uh, the the backlog for neutron or electron launches but because this contract is it seems like it's done on uh, options so the total if the government exercises all the options uh, it's a 1.45 uh, billion contract. So obviously Rocket Lab can only count the part that has been um, ordered from them that is not uh, um, retraceable, uh, that is a binding order. Uh, and that could be only the first third of the contract. So we don't know. Again, there is not a lot of data. Anyways, I think that this news is more important than people think. I think it went under the radar. This is a lot of haste launches. This is showing that the haste part of uh, the Rocket Lab Electron is scaling very much. And um, Francisco Ramirez and Christopher Bell, I need to give you guys credit because you guys were onto this. Uh, Matt Money is very much uh, onto saying that uh, haste could be even bigger than maybe the normal Electron launches. I mean, if, if this is 30 launches, which it could be, right, from the dollar amount, uh, then haste is almost, I mean, there has only been 50 electron launches, right? Uh, okay, 50 some. Uh, so that would mean that haste is scaling way faster uh, than the electron rocket has done, and, and that's just insane. Um, anyways, let me know, guys, what you think in the comments. Please make sure you're subscribed and... Um, Comment if you want, and if you want to support the channel, go ahead and check out the link in the description box below. And uh, see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.